Hello, my name is Tina Rasmussen. And I'm Steven Snyder. And we are the authors of Practicing the Jhanas. And we're going to do a short guided meditation of the Anapanasati practice, which means mindfulness of breathing. And this is the practice we describe in our book that can lead to the jhanas. So I'll start with doing some posture instructions and then Stephen will go through the actual mindfulness of breathing instructions. So sit comfortably with your eyes closed, really feeling yourself sitting and surrendering your weight to the seat, to the earth that's supporting us. Starting with your feet and really feeling your feet on the ground and moving up to your sitting area, to the hips. And it really helps if the hips are slightly tilted. And so there's a natural S curve to the spine and if we can allow that to be present, it really supports the practice. And in this meditation, because it's a serenity and concentration practice, it really helps to have our posture set up when we start so that we don't have to move around too much while we're meditating. Although if you need to move, it's fine. It helps to have the knees slightly lower than the hips to have that natural tilt and then go moving up to your lower back to see if it's possible to just allow that natural curve in the lower back and in the front of your body. Really let the stomach relax. Maybe take a deep breath into, breath into the belly. And then moving up to the chest it's very easy to have our chest be collapsed in meditation, so we really want to see if we can allow the shoulders to be relaxed down the back, and the chest open, and to allow the other side of that S-curve in the spine in the upper back. This really allows us to breathe fully and to be open-hearted as we meditate. And then going up, to the neck to see if that's loose and without stress. Feeling how the neck joins the spine and really rests on top of the spine. Going down the arms to your hands, having your hands just placed comfortably on your legs or folded in your lap whichever is more comfortable, but really having the arms be relaxed, not having to hold them up. And then coming to the head, really feeling the weight of the head resting on top of the spine so that we don't have to spend a lot of energy keeping our head in place. It's helpful to have the chin just slightly tucked as if your face is on a plane that would be equal, you know, facing a wall so that your, your neck isn't sticking out, causing neck strain. And moving to the face, just let your face relax. Let your eyes relax. And even the scalp. And with the jaw, we hold a lot of tension there, allowing for a little sp of space between the jaw and where it meets the skull. And this can be done by just lightly touching your tongue, the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth behind the upper teeth. This naturally relaxes the jaw and allows for an energy circuit to be completed in the body. And if that is uncomfortable, you don't need to do that. And now just seeing if you're balanced from the left side to the right, making sure your weight is evenly distributed. And finally, just feeling the weight of your body resting on the chair gently, relaxed and yet alert. 
The simplest meditation instruction we give is to breathe, to know your breathing in the region between the nostrils and the upper lip. The traditional instructions for the meditation are to seat yourself in an upright posture, relax your body, let your shoulder blades melt down your back towards the floor. With eyes closed, allow your awareness to rest on the breath as it's moving between the nostrils and the upper lip. The object of this meditation is the breath. Again, you are to know the breath as it passes between the nostrils and the upper lip. And if your awareness goes off of the breath, just return it with gentleness and kindness without criticism or judgment. Just bring it back and rest in this region with the breath. <laughs> 